So now that we have our I statement in there, our silhouettes completed, we've got our background color in there, we're going to add that line of text, um, just basically describing, giving the public, the person who's looking at this picture, um, some information about the message that you're trying to get across. So again, we're going to use the type tool. Um, I'm going to use the horizontal type tool again, but you could use vertical or the area type tool if you really want to. I'm going to use the same font style, but this time I'm not going to make it bold. And I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my fact. So my fact is that 38% of voters age 18 to 24 voted in the last presidential election. But notice my text has run off my page. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of it. And I'm going to make my font size 30 to make it a little smaller. Now notice it's still running off the page. So this is where our formatting gets put in. Um, so now you can go in with your type tool and re-edit your line. I think I'm going to make it still even a little smaller. So let's try 24 points. Good. And we're going to So you just play with your line. Now you can also play with paragraphs. So this is called left aligned. You could center it or you could have it right aligned if you wanted to. Which looks like this. Now if you're having it right aligned, I would suggest that you put it along the right hand side of the page. Having something right aligned does make things a little bit visually confusing for your readers since we're a country that reads from left to right. So I would recommend you either use center or left aligned. Um, and now, also, I want you to notice what I'm doing. I'm aligning my title with my fact. By having this over a little bit, it loses the strength and the visual appeal of your image. If you have your I statement and your fact aligned on, on, um, along the edge of the paragraph, it's visually more strong. You can also pull it down if you wanted to. You could also align something with, say, the point of this box, which is kind of nice because election slides underneath the ballot. I could align it with the edge of the ballot so it's at an angle if I wanted to. So you could do something like that if you really wanted to. Um, I'm going to keep mine horizontal and I liked the way it looked underneath here. And I'm also going to change the color back to white because I want my I vote to stand out. So I'm going to change it to white and there we go. And that's the final product of my iPod ad with a statement. So it's more of an I message if you will, uh, than anything else, than an advertisement. So go ahead and save this once you have finished adding in your fact. Uh, make sure all your words are spelled correctly. There is a spell check in the edit drop down menu if you want to use spell check in here. And then save it and print it off for me once you have finished. Great job.